For all your tea sipping needs, don't forget to go to amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea or lovelytea.net. Thanks for your support and stay tuned for the video. Hey, you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today. So welcome to Lovely News Network. So I have a really interesting case. Um, it's been going on since April, and there's finally somewhat of a resolve to this case. Um, basically, there's a man named Jeff Ziegler, but we're going to call him Doorbell Dennis, okay? Knock, knock. Who's there? It's my shotgun, bitch. That's his mentality. Basically, what happened is that we have a 14-year-old boy um, he missed his bus because he was running late, like 14-year-olds do. He missed his bus, and he thought that he could retrace the steps that, you know, the bus takes for him to get to his high school. Unfortunately for him, he was not able to retrace his steps, and he ended up getting lost. So at that point in time, the 14-year-old boy, his name is Brendan Walker, he decided to knock on a random door and basically ask for directions to get to his high school. And when the woman saw him, she saw a young black male. And he's, you know, he's a pretty good size 14 year old. He's as big as a newscaster. So he's not like a really small 14 year old kid. That's all she saw was his skin tone. She saw his size. And she immediately started screaming, why are you trying to break into my house? You know, why are you trying to rob us? So, of course, her husband, Doorbell Dennis, he hears the commotion. And instead of him running down to see what's going on, he grabs his shotgun, doesn't ask any questions, basically starts firing and by the grace of God that young man was able to get out of there alive without being shot or injured this entire situation is extremely disturbing I want you guys to go ahead and watch the original report um the update is that now he's been found guilty he has not been sentenced yet but he has been found guilty and it's causing a lot of controversy online I want you guys to go ahead and check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary then I turn back um I turn back Turned back and then um, I heard the gunshot. This freshman student recounting his walk to school this morning that took a terrifying turn. His decision to stop and ask for directions nearly cost him his life. It's our top story tonight. 14 year old Brennan Walker missed the bus this morning and when he tried to remember the route, he got lost. That's when he decided to knock on someone's door and that knock was met with yelling and eventually gunshots. Seven Action News reporter Brian Abel talked with the Rochester High School freshman and his mother tonight and Brian first off he's okay. He is okay. The man actually missed as Walker was running away. Now this all started when Walker missed his alarm and he says that this is where the bus it comes down. It loops around and it comes back. So he started walking up this street to try to re do the route, but he wouldn't make it to school. And now his family is questioning if race played a role. The shock of what happened this morning hasn't seemed to set in for 14 year old Brennan Walker. You know, I don't know how you process getting shot at <laughs> for asking for directions. After missing the bus, he thought he knew the route well enough to walk the roughly four miles to school. He didn't, so he stopped at a home and knocked. I knocked on her door a few times and she came down yelling at me like before I could say anything. And I was, she thought I was trying to break into her house. I was trying to explain to her that um, I wanted to get directions to go to my school. I told her that, no, I go to Rochester High. I'm just looking for directions to Rochester High. Instead of helping him out, Walker and his mom, Lisa, say security video from that home shows a woman yelling to her husband. The man of the house came down, pretty much just grabbed a shotgun and would sh shoot at my son. I saw, saw it like him holding it like this through the window. And you know, I guess I put my hands up. I don't really remember. And I started to run. I looked back behind me. I saw him aiming at me. Then I turned back. Um, I turned back. I turned back, and then um, I heard the gunshot. And I tried to run faster. Thankfully, the shot missed. But if someone is running from your house and you chase them outside and shoot at them, you're going to have criminal charges coming from us. Both Walker and his mom believe race was a factor. After watching the video um, and hearing the wife say, why did these people choose my house? I knew it was racially motivated. I don't know what other these people she possibly could have been talking about. He was by himself. I didn't want to believe that that type of stuff would happen here. And to make matters worse for Walker's mom, she says her husband is special forces deployed in Syria. Both of my men are <laughs> at risk. You know, and they're both trying to do the right thing. So it's just like, what do you do? This one's fighting for the country. This one's trying to get an education. 
and Oakland County Sheriff Mike Bouchard says the man who pulled that trigger, he is in custody tonight. Reporting live in Rochester Hills, Brian Abel, 7 Action News. Brian, this evening in a case making national headlines, an explosive trial in a Detroit suburb. A homeowner seen on home surveillance firing a shotgun at a black teenager who prosecutors said had missed the bus and was simply going to ask for directions. Tonight, the homeowner's defense and what the jury has now decided. Here's ABC's Alex Perez. A home security camera in suburban Detroit capturing the harrowing moment. A 14-year-old Brennan Walker knocked on a stranger's door for help. A woman answers and seconds later, her husband emerges with a shotgun in hand and opens fire. Walker running for his life. She thought I was trying to break into her house. I was trying to explain to her that um, I wanted to get directions to go to my school. Prosecutors say homeowner Jeffrey Ziegler intended to kill Walker. We, the jury, find Mr. Ziegler guilty. Of a Michigan jury today convicting him of assault. The teen had missed the bus that day and was lost. I saw a black person standing at my door, and I screamed at him, and I asked him what he was doing there. He tells me that he is going to school. Ziegler's wife says he was opening the screen door. Her husband says he never meant to aim at Walker. I wanted it to fire more up in the air, more towards my shoulder, and I didn't get that chance to, like I said, because it was slippery and, and I didn't have a good grip on the gun. Prosecutors argue Ziegler acted deliberately. If he didn't intend to hunt him, he would have stayed in his house. He would have waited for the deputies. And Alex Perez with us live tonight. And Alex, that homeowner is now facing the possibility of prison time. That's right, David. He is set to be sentenced next month and could face up to 12 years behind bars. As for that teenager, he was not injured in the shooting. All right, so you guys just saw both those news stories. And like I said, thank goodness Brennan Walker was okay. Imagine if that little boy got hit in the back of the head and ended up dying on their front lawn all because he was asking for directions, okay? This is a kid who had on a backpack. You know, there was no malice there at all. It's really sad. Like the mother said, my husband is fighting for the country. Meanwhile, my son is trying to fight for his education, and look what's going on out here. You know, racism is still alive and well, and people do need to be careful and do need to be very, very mindful. Now, I see a lot of people making excuses and saying, well, you know what? He was just trying to protect his home. You step on my lawn. You step on my property. I can do what I want. Well, there's consequences consequences for that because yes I understand protecting your home if somebody is actually robbing you that's the difference this couple was not being robbed the kids simply rang the doorbell to ask for directions and they basically misconstrued it into some fucking figment of their imagination and tried to basically come to the conclusion that he was trying to rob them and he's basically telling them no no I'm not trying to rob you I just need directions and they're not listening to him because all they're seeing is his black skin they're seeing his size and they're automatically pulling out a gun you know so that's a really scary situation and my issue is this, okay? If this was a one-time incident, maybe I could say, okay, they were scared. They didn't know things, you know, can happen. Things get misconstrued. But this is not Mr. Ziegler, a.k.a. Doorbell Dennis. This is not his first running with the law. And this is not the first time that he has shot a weapon, okay? I found a story that Fox News ended up breaking basically back in 2004, this same man, the same man who put out a shotgun and almost killed this young man, was previously charged in a road raid incident where he pulled out a gun in the middle of the um, street and basically almost killed a man. So this is not this man's first rodeo, so he should know better, especially being that he was arrested and convicted before on a gun situation. So I want you guys to go ahead and watch his video where they're talking about his previous gun charge. Check this out. I dug up an arrest record from nearly 14 years ago, and turns out Jeff Ziegler shot at a man while driving in Warren. Um. There's a lot more to the story than what's being told. Jeff Ziegler faced a judge Friday for trying to shoot an unarmed 14-year-old boy. And it's not the first time he's gotten into trouble with a gun. Warren police arrested Ziegler for shooting at a car in a road rage incident on 696. It happened in 2004. Ziegler faced an aggravated felonious assault charge, but pled guilty to a misdemeanor. He got one year probation plus fines and court costs. 
The stakes are much higher now. He's charged with assault with intent to murder. I'm kind of happy that I didn't become like a statistic. Ziegler is accused of chasing after and opening fire on Brennan Walker with the 12 gauge shotgun. The 14 year old says he missed the bus to Rochester High School and tried to walk the bus route and got lost. He knocked on Ziegler's door in hopes of getting directions to school. Ziegler's wife assumed he was a burglar. I was in bed yesterday morning when my wife started screaming and crying. The guy came downstairs um, and then he grabbed the gun and I saw it and then I started to run and then that's when I heard the gunshot. It was crazy. You see my son put his hands up, you know, and, and back up defensively. And then you see him take off running. A surveillance camera recorded that near deadly encounter. Neighbors Brian and Julie Lawrence are still wrapping their heads around what happened next door. I can't believe it. It, it just it's disconcerting because of everything that's been going on since we, we've only been here for a couple months. And uh all of the incidents that we hear that are happening are our next door neighbor. The Oakland County Sheriff's Office responded to a family trouble call at the Ziegler home in February. No action was taken, but there was a strong police presence. When all of the Oakland County Sheriff's, I mean, it was just peppered with Sheriff's cars. The Sheriff's Office also confirmed there were two reported break ins at the Ziegler home in 2009. Neither Brennan or his mother, Lisa Wright, were available for interviews Friday, but people who live in the subdivision where Brennan was nearly killed have a message for his family. I want them to know that this neighborhood is not full of people like that and that there are people if he would have gone to probably any other house in the neighborhood we would have taken the kid to school. Ziegler is no longer being held in the Oakland County Jail. He posted a $50,000 bond. One of his bond conditions, he cannot be within 10 miles of Brennan Walker. That means he cannot go back home until this case is closed. I'm Randy Wembley and this is the edge. All right, so you guys just saw that video. So in my personal opinion, at this point in time, this man not only needs to be arrested, he needs to be charged. He's been found guilty, but I feel like at this point in time, he also needs to be sentenced, okay? Because it's only a matter of time before he kills somebody. He's attempted to kill two different people at two different times, you know what I'm saying, 14 years apart. So if it happens again the third time, is that third person going to die? Because, you know, they all say third time's a charm. You know, so I just don't trust him. I don't trust his mentality. Even the neighbor are saying that there's always some bullshit going on at their house. There's always police being called. So the man seems very unstable. The wife also seems to have issues where she can see somebody and automatically think that somebody's coming to rob her. Granted, in the video, they did say that, you know, their house had been robbed before back in 2009. But just because something happened to you before does not mean that that's the case. And let's all use common sense. When somebody's coming to rob you, they literally stock your home and, you know, they make sure you're not there. That's what most robbers do. Most most robbers are not going to come up to your door and ring the doorbell and then proceed to rob you. That's too much work. They'd rather you not be home, okay? They'd rather not have to fight you, especially if you're a potential gun owner. That's how most robbers think. So the fact that somebody's ringing the doorbell, letting you know their presence, okay, and they're carrying a backpack, that should let you know that maybe he's not robbing me. You know, if anything, if I seen him on my doorstep, I'd probably think he was trying to sell me something, not rob me. So this entire situation is really disturbing. Let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Let me know what you guys think about this. How do you guys feel about Doorbell Dennis? I'm going to start giving all these fools names, okay? How y'all feel about Doorbell Dennis and his fuck shit? I mean, he's saying that there's more to the story, but video evidence does not lie, okay? There wasn't much story because there wasn't much dialogue between you and that young man before you shot at him. So miss me with the bullshit, sir. Um, what do you guys think should happen to him? Right now, he has not been sentenced. He is currently looking at 10 years in prison. Should he get the whole 10 years? Should he only get a few years or should he just get off altogether? Let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.